Yo guys, I just want to let you guys know that this video and the previous video, the AdSense for those videos are going to be donated to the Minnesota Relief Fund. America is crazy right now in 2020. This has to be one of the worst weeks so far. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. I'll leave a lot of links down in the description if you guys want to help out the Floyd family. And once again, I just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel and everything that you guys have provided for me. And I just hope you guys are handling this well and that my videos provide some sort of uh, escape from, you know, what's going on in the world and I just appreciate you guys. Let's get into the video. This video is brought to you by Rolls Gold and Black. Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is a, a different setup. <laughs> we got the boom mic and the mic right here. I'm sitting on my office chair. Uh, we're gonna be editing some photos today. I'm not too sure if you guys actually like these videos or not, but I don't really care. I have to edit this photo anyways for Instagram and I feel like it might help some of you guys since you guys are into fashion. So anyways, we're gonna be editing this photo right here and then it's gonna end up looking like this after the video. I don't know what it looks like yet because I haven't edited it yet. You and I are both seeing this picture for the first time and editing it together for the first time. So it'll be the legit picture that I actually post. That way you guys can get some insights on how I actually edit my pictures because every picture is different and just dropped my phone but today's picture is a tech wear inspired outfit i had to go to the west side to take this outfit picture okay it's not my favorite place to go but you do it for the gram right okay so today we're going to be using an app called lightroom and a lightroom is basically an adobe software and a lot, a lot of professionals use it. This is Ahsoka, by the way. I had to edit this picture for her personal Instagram. So if you guys want to follow my, my cute Corgi, all right, link is in the description. But anyways, Lightroom is an Adobe software and Adobe produces a ton of editing softwares like Premiere Pro for editing video, Photoshop for Photoshop work. You know, Photoshop is basically a verb now. I like Lightroom because it has all your basic features plus a lot of other tweaks that you can make that you can't really do and many other softwares. This app is free and you guys can download it right now. There are a few features that you guys don't get if you guys don't pay for it, which is totally cool, you don't need it. But anyways, enough rambling. Let me um import the photos and we're gonna get started on this edit. Okay, so this is the photo right here. This is a tech wear inspired fit, like I said earlier. Whenever you guys do photo shoots, you kinda wanna match the vibe of your fit. And tech wear is associated with like dystopian futures, you know, kinda like Star Wars. I'd say this, let's start with this picture right here because it's probably the most well composed in my opinion. And I also look the tallest. Down here at the bottom, there's, you guys, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm pointing and stuff. Down here at the bottom, there is a bunch of other features um, where you can adjust lights, the color effects and all that. So what I always like to do, I'm very irresponsible, I need to charge my phone. But anyways, what I always like to do first is fix the optics chromatic aberration. So we're gonna remove chromatic aberration. It's just a good idea to do that every time. And automatically it enabled lens correction. As you can see, if you don't do it, you'll just see a difference. Every lens has its flaws and this will help fix that. So whenever you do that, you start off with a clean slate because um, sometimes whenever you enable lens correction, it fixes the exposure and it actually brightens the picture. So if you do that last, it'll make your picture even brighter. Now, to me, this picture is just a tiny bit underexposed. So we're gonna expose it a little bit more. Exposure is just brightening up the image. And then we're gonna add some contrast. We're gonna drop the highlights a little bit. Highlights is basically what's in the sky. And shadows is gonna be, you know, your shadows, your shirts, your clothes, like under the rocks and all that stuff. So we'll lift those up just a little bit, kind of a lot. We're gonna bring up the whites. We're gonna deepen the blacks. And that's just like basic editing that you'd normally get in pretty much every app, even Instagram as well. And the greatest part about Lightroom is that you can just hold your thumb on your screen and then it's gonna show the before picture. And then if you let go, it'll show the after picture. I like to do this routinely throughout the edit just so I can see how far I've gone. So we did that. Then we're gonna move on to color and to me, this needs a little bit more warmth just because the sky is so blue and the dirt and all that is supposed to be warm. Um, I mean, just, just the color of it, it's like yellow. So we're gonna add some warmth to it. As you can see, the slider is already leaning more towards the cool side and that's just probably a camera thing because I have it set for auto white balance. So we're gonna add some warmth, just a little bit. I felt like there's a slight bit of purple in it. So we're gonna add a little bit of green to contrast it. And then I'm probably gonna drop the vibrance a little bit and then I'll probably leave the saturation by itself. And the greatest part about Lightroom, if you guys saw my last editing tutorial, is the mix. So mix allows you to adjust each individual color. He was going to adjust that specific color's color. So if I, let's just go to orange. So I can make it a deeper orange or more towards the yellow side with that. So orange applies to the skin, that's hue. Saturation is obviously, you know, saturation of that specific color. And then luminance is basically the brightness and darkness of that color. So you guys will see. I would start with left to right. So we're gonna do the reds right now and that's going to be in your lips and maybe other accessories that you have. 
your ears and all that. And orange is going to be in everyone's skin tone, so that's probably the most important part because everyone messes up the skin tones. So we're gonna move more towards the, the yellow side, but nothing too crazy. We're just gonna add like a little bit. And then we're gonna add some saturation to the skin, drop the luminance a tad bit. Now yellow is going to be in the dirt. It also applies to a lot of green stuff like grass and trees. As you guys will see, it'll affect probably the grass and the dirt. So hue is, yep, it's affecting all of that. And then drop the saturation as well. Nothing too crazy. And then I'll also probably drop the brightness of it as well. And what you always want to do is just play with the slider and see what it does and then just adjust it to your taste. You can also pinch to zoom to see how much is changing that specific color. Blue is going to be in the sky for sure. It's also in my shadow as you guys can see right down here. It's also in the shadow, which is kind of crazy. So this slider moves it from purple to aqua teal-ish type of colorway. So I'm going to make it more teal, but I'm definitely going to drop the saturation to give it more of a you know, moody dystopian vibe. I seen it in the acronym fall winter 19 lookbook. I think it was that year. Drop the luminance a tad bit, just a tiny bit. Now we're gonna move to effects and this is where you can add a, a really different type of look. De I'm, I'm gonna dehaze it a little bit. Basically dehazing is if there's like some haziness or like it feels like it looks like fog just a tad bit don't go too crazy unless it's actually really hazy i'm gonna drop the clarity just because i know this camera yeah so what you want is more of a natural feeling type of picture too much clarity too much contrast it just feels weird because if you add a bunch of saturation vibrance contrast clarity yeah you're like just doing too much you know it's like throwing a bunch of babe supreme palace and off-white all of those pieces on your body and thinking it's a good outfit same thing with editing pictures so um, we drop the clarity a little bit, increase the dehaze, and you can add some vignetting if you want. And this is what I recommend for you guys if you guys don't pay for the software. Detail is the sharpening. Um, I'm going to drop the sharpening just because I know this camera and that's this specific lens. And noise reduction is what you would use at nighttime. You're not really going to experience any noise at all during the day. But as you can see, noise reduction will make you look like a Barbie doll. Look how smooth that skin is. And you can still see my acne. <laughs> <laughs> I just leave the noise reduction just like that. I don't really care um, if you see my acne or not. And then always afterwards, I go to profiles. It's kind of like a filter on Instagram, but you can adjust the intensity of it. And it's just better filters than Instagram has. And you kind of just want to go for the vibe. You know, just tap through all of them, see what type of vibe you like. I'm gonna go with Modern 6. You just want to drop the intensity a little bit. You don't want it to be a full filter, you know? So I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit. You're probably not even gonna notice it, but it does make a difference. We're gonna change the crop to four by five because that's Instagram's crop standards. Just make sure it's a uh, crop straight and you're in the center or however you wanna crop it. I'm just gonna make myself centered. And here comes my favorite part about Lightroom. And if you guys don't pay for Adobe, that's totally cool. You could just stop from here. It looks pretty dope. But if you guys do pay for the software, this is not sponsored by the way. I just, I, had, I use their products so I can make videos for you guys. But my favorite part about Lightroom is the selective tools. So this is where you can adjust and really add some more character to your image or to emphasize a certain uh, product or a certain part of your image. So go to the selective tool. You have three options. You have a brush, you have a radial, and you have a gradient. The brush is like a specific area you wanna brush, you know, and whatever is in red, you can adjust that specific area. So I can adjust the brightness of just that because maybe there's a certain part of your image you want to emphasize or bring back. Actually, I am gonna use it. So I'm gonna brush this part of the Orbit Gear sling bag because it is naturally olive, but because I adjusted the yellow colors, I actually desaturated it. So we're gonna bring that back just to get the color back. So I'm just gonna brush that little area and we're gonna add some saturation. There you go. Because you don't wanna affect the rest of your picture. That's the whole point of the radial gradients and the selective tools. You don't wanna adjust the whole picture. If you just add exposure or add some shadows, bring down the highlights, it'll do it to the whole entire photo. Sometimes you don't want that. You're gonna bring up the shadows a little bit, maybe drop the blacks. Now you got the gradient tool. So this, I like to use this to add you know, some brightness or just some like direction and just use it to add a little bit of color, exposure or contrast to the photo because sometimes it can just be too boring if you don't have one of these. So I like to drag it a little bit from the corner, especially because the sun is going this way you know, going down and the shadows behind me. That's what I kind of want to go for. Probably add some brightness. What's also cool about this is you can add a color. So there's this color thing right here. And depending on how high up you go in this color gamut, it'll be more saturated. So if I drag it all the way up, it's gonna add red. And you can go all the way through the color wheel or the color spectrum, I should say, sorry. 
And so I'm gonna add just a little bit of orange slash yellow because it makes it feel more dystopian in my humble opinion. Then we're gonna add another gradients um, on the floor and then we're gonna drop the exposure, make it more black. I really need to charge my phone and bam, I think that's, I, I think that's the photo done. I think this photo is done. And all you gotta do is hit the three dots, copy settings, and sometimes you don't wanna copy all the tools. In this case, I am, because all these pictures were shot pretty much the same way. And then all you gotta do is double, hit the three dots, paste it, okay, there we go. Paste it, and you don't have to do any more editing. Maybe you have to fix the crop a little bit. In this case, I don't. All right, we're gonna call it from there because my phone is really lagging because it's about to die. But I think that is a really good edit. It feels very, uh, you know, dead. <laughs> That's like the only way to explain it. No, no life, I'm in the desert, and I'm trying to survive. So that's the type of vibe I was trying to go for. I'm gonna stop this screen recording. But yeah, guys, that's the edit. Let me know what you guys think of these types of videos, if you guys find them helpful or not. If you guys don't, I'm probably not gonna make these videos anymore. <laughs> and I'll probably go on, a, on my second channel, maybe. Who knows? And also let me know if you guys found this video helpful or not. If you made it this far, I want you to comment dystopia down below so that I know that you're cool. But anyways, guys, um, I want to take you guys to the sponsor of this video, Rose Gold and Black. If you guys don't know who Rose Gold and Black is, you guys don't watch my videos, obviously. Basically, Rose Gold and Black makes affordable, minimalistic jewelry for men, all from your beaded bracelets, rings, watches, to your necklaces. We all know that accessories really make a difference with your outfits. And you guys know, I'm going to recommend you guys their bar necklaces. It's very minimal, nothing too crazy, no crazy chain links or anything like that. It's just a basic chain, a solid bar. And they have different colorways for that from gold, rose gold, silver, and gunmetal. I really like the rose gold and the gunmetal. I feel those two colorways work with any outfit that I wear. Typically, whenever I'm wearing a dark shirt, I wear the rose gold one. And whenever I'm wearing a lighter colored shirt, like a light gray long sleeve or anything like that, I wear the gunmetal shirt to contrast against that. So if you guys are interested in any of Rose Gold and Black's products, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's going to take you guys to my special page where a ton of the items are going to be discounted from the regular homepage. Don't go to the regular homepage. It's full price. Price. Go to my page. You're gonna save some money. You don't need to apply any coupon codes. Overall, I just feel like these necklaces are so easy to style. And the bang for the buck for these type of necklaces is real. You can pretty much rock this with any outfit, any style, and that makes this necklace worth it. So yeah, guys, check out Rose Gold and Black. It really helps my channel out, even if you just click on the link. I don't make any commissions off of you guys or anything like that, but you guys just visiting the link really helps my channel out in the long term because I've been wearing Rose Gold and Black since 2017 and working with them since 2018. And they're just a long time supporter of the channel. So I just appreciate you guys if you guys make any purchases. And thank you Rose Gold and Black for sponsoring this video. You guys are the best. So yeah, guys, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Comment on this picture, double tap it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. Check out Rose Gold and Black and I'm out. Peace. Oops.